Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I will be building a dual ringed spinning folding space station and launch it in one go. Now of course, nothing ever works the first time, especially in Kerbal Space Program. So there was a little accident on the first go, but with a few adjustments and a tiny little redesign, on the second launch it worked just fine. I especially enjoyed how it folds into its final form. It's pretty cool. Now, of course, me and my infinite, infinite, inf infinite wisdom, I forgot to bring an engineer. I tried having docking ports on the ends and hopefully that they would see each other and dock with one another, completing the, the ring. But unfortunately, it just wasn't working. Even when I put same vessel attachment, they just wouldn't never see each other and never dock with one another and it kinda sucked. So instead, I was going to bring an engineer to take the existing struts and strut the corners together so that it could become one, one solid ring. I do this because when it starts to spin, the centripetal forces will actually throw the pieces of the ring out if they're not attached to each other. So because of the fact that I forgot to bring an engineer, well, I had to do like a little bit of like a like a rescue slash repair mission so I grabbed the big boy SSTO and I even added a an attachment to it to be placed on the space station so that the SSTO could dock with the space station for now a little tiny little tow vehicle with it and lo and behold while everything seemed to be going fine I rendezvoused with the wrong damn station I rendezvoused with an old one that really never saw complete completion it's just kinda out there so I had to get the find the right one and rendezvous with that. After that, everything went pretty smooth. With a spinning space station, however, there is no time warping. If you time warp, the whole thing freezes. And then when, you're, when you come back to normal time, the way the spinning space station works is that it has to spool up first, which unfortunately means that whatever is attached to the ends is going to spin for a little while before it finally slows down and stops.
almost had a accident, but I was lucky enough to detach the SSTO and get everything back into control. So there you have it, a one launch dual ring spinning folding space station in space. Before I go, I just want everyone to check their notification bell. It seems like YouTube is starting to do some weird thing now where it's not notifying people when I put out a video, which is really weird. My videos have been getting uh, a lot less views for the past couple of days now, and I'm thinking that maybe the algorithm is kind of pushing me aside. I don't, I don't know what's going on, so I'll try to figure out what's going on. But until then, if you like the video, please click, click the like and share it with a friend. Those simple kind gestures help me out a lot. I mean a ton. When the algorithm sees that the video is getting a bunch of likes and being shared around and comments are being placed under the video, then it starts to recommend them, recommend the videos more. So I'm going to try hard on my side to find videos that are more interesting and hopefully we can get the ball rolling again like it was a couple of months ago before it started slowing down and stagnating for some reason. I blame YouTube. Sometimes YouTube goes into its little weird algorithm hiccups where you don't know what, you, what you're doing wrong. I'm thinking maybe uh, when I look back, I look at the uh, very successful videos like the Pocket Fighter and I did like two iterations on that but every single Pocket Fighter video that came out. Then of course there was the Crack and Dry video and that was very popular with 14,000 views. I might do another video like that since it seemed to be kind of popular but I, I, re I really don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm full of ideas and, and I'm willing um, to hear any suggestions anybody might have as to what I can do to spice things up a little bit and make this this channel better and more appealing. I mean a lot of times I think maybe Maybe it's the thumbnails maybe I need to change that up a little bit or something or maybe it's the different types of craft files maybe the things that I'm doing have been done so much already in KSP that nobody's interested in it anymore which is probably why something like the pocket fighter was kind of a novelty I don't think anybody has ever done that as well as the crack and drive thing really no one has really gone through and tested all the different crack and drives that exist in the game which is probably why that one got so many views because it had several different crack and drive methods i mean i'm not i'm not too sure but um i'm going to try harder on my end to, to try to find things that have never been done before and when i say never been done before i'm not talking like building the most biggest ssto ever that will break any system that tries to run it or something of that nature. Yeah, I, that would be fun, but I'm not Stratton Blitz, okay? <laughs> I don't have, my computer is a 10 year old uh, piece of crap, okay? It, it, can, it can barely hold its own. It's a 10 year old rebuilt, rebuilt several times already. So it's like, yeah. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Be safe out there. Love you all. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, don't forget, one o'clock Saturday, Eastern Standard Time, live stream, Duna Colony stuff. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.